Welcome back, Raider Nation and my champions. This is Eric, and we have breaking news from various outlets that head coach John Gruden will be resigning from the Las Vegas Raiders. I'm going to give you the reasons why. I'm going to give you my take on whether or not this is a good thing for the Raiders and also offer some possible interim replacements. So let's get right to it. Now, a few days ago, I did do a video on John Gruden and the email allegations of what they called a Rachel trope against E. Maurice Smith 11 years ago. Now it looks like there's even more emails coming out and there's anti-gay, inflammatory language, etc. I'm not going to get into what exactly was said. Uh, obviously, due to YouTube reasons, I'll probably shut my video down if I say certain words, obviously. This is kind of snowballing, so this is the reason why he's out. And now I want to give you why I think this is a good thing for the Raiders. You know, overall, big picture wise, I do think this is a kind of a blessing in disguise for the organization. Number one, he had a 10 year deal guaranteed 10 million a year. He's in his fourth year now. I'm betting that those years are going to be able to be voided now, given the reasons why he is departing. Maybe even with him resigning, maybe there's going to be a settlement. Who knows? Not really sure, but I bet we're going to save some money. And even more importantly, we're going to save some face on the field because honestly, I think the game has passed him by. I, I've watched now, this is his fourth season, and I talked about it, especially in these last two game review videos with the Chargers and the Bears, about him being very stubborn and not changing his ways and not modifying to what works and seeing what works and trying to fix the issues, especially with the offensive line. I am not seeing it with him. And I talked about that before in his press conferences after the Charger game. He was proud of the team. Really nothing to be proud of. They got their asses whooped. And then today, even on his presser, he was mentioning that the team still needs to find its identity. He's, he's the head coach of the team in his fourth season and we don't have an identity. That tells you how out of touch he really is with this team. So overall, I think this is a blessing in disguise for this organization. Now, as far as replacements, at least in the short term, I think it comes down to two guys. Now you could say Rod Marinelli, but then again, if that was the case, he would have taken the defensive coordinator job when Gunther was fired. He stayed as defensive line coach. I think he's just too old and he's happy where he's at. I'm going to say the first one would be Tom Cable, the offensive line coach. Obviously, he has head coaching experience as a former coach of the head coach of the Raiders. That could be fine. I would be okay with that, at least in the interim, at least for this season, till we find a permanent head coach. And obviously, the other option would be to promote Gus Bradley from D.C. to head coach. Two reasons on that. He was a head coach of Jacksonville Jaguars. He has experience, a lot of experience is on the defensive side. And defense has improved here. I know it's a short time, only four games, but it does look better than it did before. And maybe this could be a viable option. Maybe keeping Gus Bradley and promoting him to head coach, uh, keeping Olsen as the OC, at least for the year, and then bringing in maybe like some kind of young offensive type mastermind as an, as an offensive coordinator. And then Gus could uh, focus on the defensive side. I think that could be a viable option for this team. When you have great coaches, then after you have great coaches, you get great players. You have a great organization, and you tell them one thing. Just win, baby. <laughs>